So how are you guys feeling today? Pretty good. Yeah? yeah nice. Are you excited for the premiere tonight? Oh, yeah. 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 So I'm with three of the Oxford Five, a group of badass, insanely smart scientists who went to Oxford together. Yeah. And I want to ask all three of you this question. Um, who do you feel like is the most like their character out of you three? And who is the least? I want to say the most. Well, David and Dan... Shrug me off. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, Disagreement? Okay. Or was it a touchy subject? You're wrong. No, I'm just no, no, no. I, I, well, David and Dan, when they first told me about this, they said that the character that I'm going to play is the most like myself than I'll ever play. I didn't... They wrote the part for me, and having known them for 10 years through shooting Game of Thrones, they kind of got a good handle on what I'm like as a person. So, so yeah, they, they, they basically gave me license to pretty much play myself and bring a lot of my own personality into that role. But I think least out of the three of us, it's probably Alex. Yeah. Because, yeah. I, th because I think Will is so, um, so downtrodden and so downbeat and downcast. And Alex is a much more positive and much more um, outgoing and much more confident person. Thank you, John. Yeah. And I think, I, I think that's, yeah, that, that, that I, th I think that, that Will would like half an hour with Alex. <laughs> yeah, just a bit of coaching. Like it is. All right, come on, come on, boy. Let's go, buddy. Well, Let's your go. characters balance each other out when they get to hang together. Yes. It's yeah. really nice, you know. Jack is definitely a fun, a fun hang. He's the yin to my yang. Yeah. Oh. yeah. <laughs> we'll get so, out of the way. <laughs> Jess, I want to ask you, because Jin is such an incredible character, right. you know, uh. obviously a genius, super driven, yeah. um, and has a lot of heart, you know, really, yeah, really I cares agree. about the world. So yeah. uh, what about, what about Jin did you love, like, about playing this character? Um, I mean, you're so right, I think, even though she is super ambitious, highly intellectual, uh, a genius of her generation. She wears her heart on her sleeve mm. and she just loves her friends, cares about them so much. So even though she's a hard science staff that is like, we're gonna get to the bottom <laughs> of this, we're gonna get the answers. She actually goes through the world leading from her heart and from her gut. She follows her instincts. Um, and so she sometimes acts before she thinks um, and then she backs it up with the facts, of course. Uh, and I wish I had an ounce of her bravery. Yeah. Yeah, she's, she's incredible. And I, something that I'm also wondering for all of you is, how is it learning all the lingo, like the, the physics? That's where I just feel like I would be completely <laughs> lost with all. And you just spit it out like no yeah, big deal. Yeah, super easy. I'm like, in and out. you guys. <laughs> this one, yeah, this woman here had, had most of the... Yeah, much more to do. Yeah. Spitting the yeah. physics balls. No, but. we were really lucky. We had a lot of support. Um, Dan, David, and Alex have been with the source material for years, and they are actually geniuses in their own right. So um, I just bombarded them with questions about this and that. But they also brought on a uh, particle physicist, Matt Kenzie, to be our consultant. Oh. And then Matt Kenzie, I was like, hey, do you have any contacts at Oxford Uni? And he went, <laughs> why don't you talk to my two students? Uh, and these two students took me and Giovanna Depo around for a day. So we actually got to meet like real life physicists to be who are just people, you know? They go down to the pub after a hard day at school. <laughs> they have friendships, they have friendship dramas, they have romance and heartbreaks, you know? So. Um, you know, I also read all the books and listened to podcasts and tried to wrap my head around some, some of the high concepts. But what was most important was connecting to the heart, which is humanity, you know? Mm -hmm. We're all people at the end of the day. Scientists cry too. Scientists <laughs> cry too. Put that on a t-shirt. <laughs> it's a good job, really, because I, I found it hard enough to basically play myself in this show. I couldn't have given me any of that to say. I'm struggling enough here. How was it filming the VR? Interesting, wasn't it? It was fun. It was, um, it was challenging, but I think really fun. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it was, it was um, the great thing about that VR element of the show is that we're allowed to show absolutely anything we want on the screen. Yeah. We, we're not bound by any logic like any other show. We can show our characters at any place in history or the future mm -hmm. or have them talk into anybody else. So although we didn't really see a lot of it as we were shooting it because it was all green screen, we did get a sense of the scale of what they wanted those sequences mm. to be, and especially in episode three, which mm. was directed by Andrew Stanton, who directed Wally, -E oh. and has a lot to do with with, with Pixar, wrote Toy Story, and, and things like that. So he's a he's a master of 
visual storytelling. Yeah. We just knew that we were in very good hands for those sequences, and yeah. I think the final product was m even more spectacular than we could have ever hoped for. Definitely. Yeah, it looked fantastic. It's such a fun series to watch. I just finished it last night, oh, and obviously now it. I'm I'm wanting season two already. Are you so, sure? <laughs> yeah. um, so thank you guys so much. You all crushed it, and thank I'll you. see you later at the premiere. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. Cool. Nice to meet.